And welcome back. And for all of you who thought, hooray, we're pulling out of Iraq, I think most of you realize by now that uh, certainly to a degree we were once again being conned and lied to, which is the way it always is. Our American boys and girls who have been in Iraq have been pulled out. Yes, some of them have been cycled home, but others have not been cycled home. They have been transplanted from Iraq to Jordan near the Syrian border. Reports we are getting is that the American boys and girls over there in uniform now are training the NATO genocidal murderers and butchers who were fighting and killing and raping and plundering and mutilating in Libya to go into Syria and continue doing the same thing they have already been doing. They are also apparently training some of the Turkish military, which may well be getting ready to perform a land invasion of Syria as well. So, again, uh, the commander-in-chief, such as he isn't, is lying. The pentagram is lying, and it continues to get worse. One can only hope that the Russians will stand firm and not put up with any more of this crap, i.e. the butchery of sovereign nations, and do something about it. With us here tonight, these first uh, 60 minutes, is Tim Refat from England. Hello, Tim. Welcome back. How are you doing? Uh, very well, Jeff. Thanks for having me on. So, uh, I'd like to start with um, thanking David Icke, who um, um, uh, some decades ago was the first one to introduce me uh, to the Rothschild. Um, it's um, unusual if you look at all the geopolitical um, shows, um, uh, all the stuff on the Internet, that no one mentions um, the rulers of the world, the Rothschild uh, Cabal, that own the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, the IMF, um, that um, the Russian government is uh, terrified of, and that um, um, no one dare mention it. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, uh, the idea of no one daring to mention things <laughs> is all too common now. And what you do is mention things that most people wouldn't go near. And many people would say it's amazing that Tim Refat is not in jail somewhere or worse. But, well, I've uh, been jailed, if you remember, uh, four well, times I, I, wrongfully I, by the British government. Um, so um, what um, it points to is that um, the uh, Rothschilds have complete control over the media and complete control over the so-called um, Internet media, the so-called uh, free press. Not free at all. Uh, it's controlled entirely, as, as we know. The... Uh, Bottom line is, even the independent media is immediately targeted if it is successful for penetration and control. Uh, this one is not, but I can't honestly point to many who, who are free to do what they'd like to do. There have been any number of websites that have appeared in the last two or three years which purport to be alternative news services. In fact, they are not. The best way to control the opposition, if you are the controller, as in this case the Rothschilds, and their cabal in the city of London, the best way to control the opposition is to create it and to operate it, and then you control it. Go ahead, Tim. Um, we listen to all these um, economic uh, commentators. For example, um, the big thing has been the euro, but um, uh, one doesn't realize the whole point of the euro uh, was to have a um, government controlled by the Rothschilds in Europe with the... Um, uh, countries' governments becoming irrelevant. That was the whole point of the Euro. Uh, the Euro. We know that um, all the laws in Europe are made by unelected um, uh, parrot chicks uh, of the Rothschilds in Brussels. Um, we know that um, Greece and Italy have now uh, been turned into slave states of the Rothschilds, having unelected Rothschild lieutenants in total charge of uh, everything that goes on uh, in the country. We know it's Greeks have been bullied. Absolutely amazing. It's amazing. Italy, Italy, a modern first world nation with a dictator installed. It's amazing. Yeah. And we know in uh, Greece that um, they're um, holding this um, 132 billion euro um, bailout, plus or minus a few um, tens of billions, over the heads of Greeks um, to um, basically sign over the entire country and the entire race into uh, eternal, um, perpetual um, slavery to the Rothschilds who run all the central banks. Uh, what's surprising, though, is that um, the situation is not um, under the control of the Rothschilds in that, <coughs> um, if it was, uh, David Cameron, who's the uh, UK um, Prime Minister and, um, uh, as I say, a, a nice um, Zionist Jew like the Rothschilds, um, vetoed um, plans uh, to um, uh, go toward fiscal union um, for the UK. So the UK um, is um, the only one of the 27 member nations that refused to give
give its um, <coughs> economic um, control over to the bureaucrats in Brussels, which uh, seems rather strange since the Rothschilds uh, run the West from uh, the city of London. And, of course, uh, the Rothschilds uh, live in uh, Buckinghamshire, which um, they own, and most of the prime estates uh, in Great Britain um, are owned by uh, the Rothschilds. So it seems that um, uh, this um, plan for um, one, one world uh, government starting in um, Europe with total control of uh, um, nations being given over to the Rothschilds in Europe um, has been um, scuppered, um, at least for uh, Britain, by uh, David Cameron. But since the Rothschilds control um, Britain anyway, <coughs> it, rather, it rather is a, um, uh, a false flag operation. And the only uh, point of it I can see is to destabilize the euro, which um, is um, falling as we speak. The uh, big meeting to save uh, the euro, um, which was um, last uh, Friday, uh, doesn't seem to have um, uh, controlled the market. And we can see that um, uh, the uh, euro and the, um, the uh, monies of Europe um, are going to um, collapse and go down the tube, which, of course, um, will precipitate um, uh, the uh, chaos we talked about in, in the last show. We know that um, in um, Iraq, the U.S. troops um, have now pulled out, according to um, the U.S. Uh, military. Um, they're over the border in uh, Jordan and uh, Kuwait. We know that um, the Iraqis have no uh, air force, so um, the, the total control of the skies over Iraq is um, held by uh, the U.S. Air Force flying from um, carrier battle groups and from their air bases in the Middle East, Qatar, etc. And we know that um, a normal embassy is about 50 people, and a big one um, uh, is about 100 people, but the American embassy in Iraq will be 20,000 people. 20, it's, well, it's a small city, uh, is what yeah, it is. 20, and, yeah, 20,000 Hard to Which believe. Is an occupying force. Exactly. Think about it. 20,000 people, a town of 20,000 people in the so called green zone in Baghdad. And the skies certainly are dark and stormy. And Tim Refat is with us from England. All right, Tim, uh, go right ahead. So we've got an embassy of uh, 20,000 um, Americans um, in Iraq. It's uh, got no um, uh, air uh, force. We know in Libya that um, Gaddafi was defeated because um, his air force um, was uh, rendered um, obsolete by uh, France, Britain and America. So we know Iraq is totally uh, occupied by the uh, American boot. Um, the Rothschilds own Iraq uh, totally. We, we know that um, each of the consulates in uh, Basra, etc., um, is going to be a thousand more of these uh, American occupiers. We know that um, Blackwater is rebranding itself as uh, Academy um, and uh, now um, demanding that it um, sends its uh, killer mercenaries that were banned from Iraq back to Iraq, rebranded as uh, Academy. <coughs> so we can see the whole um, leitmotif of uh, the Zionist world, which is um, destroy everything and then occupy it. So one can see, uh, going back to the um, uh, European situation, the Rothschilds um, see that there is too much resistance to the occupation of Europe by the Rothschild bankers. So they're going to pull down uh, Europe by um, collapsing the euro, and uh, only uh, Britain, their um, homeland, will remain out of the uh, maelstrom of financial uh, devastation caused by the inevitable collapse of the euro, because, of course, um, the pigs, Portugal, Italy, Greece, Spain... Um, are uh, bankrupt, and of course, um, if the um, Europeans, which they are doing now, um, are defending the euro come what may, then the, the end result will be uh, devastation and uh, the collapse of the euro, which of course is what the Rothschilds want, because the whole um, aim of the uh, project is to render the governments, as in Greece, as in Italy, totally irrelevant, with total control over the country being in the hands of uh, the Rothschild uh, agents. The same, of course, in Libya. We had uh, chaos, the total devastation of the country. And in Benghazi today, we had um, massive demonstrations against the NTC Council because, of course, the people find themselves now under control of the NTC Council, which, of course, is doing things um, completely at the behest of the Rothschilds. And uh, the Libyans find themselves liberated from Gaddafi. And, of course, now... Um, 
they uh, find themselves under the boot, under the total occupation of the Rothschilds because the NDC are just uh, Libyan um, traitors who work for the Rothschilds. The same, of course, in Egypt. We've had the elections. The uh, 70% of the, uh, the poll went to the uh, Muslim um, Islamists. And, of course, they find themselves uh, totally without power because the army, which is funded and paid for by uh, the Rothschild uh, U.S. government, actually um, is uh, calling the shots. Now, going to Syria, we find that... Um, the uh, National Syrian Council, or the Syrian National Council, let's call it the, Ro the Rothschild puppet government in waiting, um, has uh, proclaimed it's going to cut all ties with Iran, it's going to um, cut all ties with Hezbollah, and we know then that U.S. troops uh, and, of course, contractors like uh, Academy, which used to be Blackwater, um, are going to uh, come into um, Syria, and the whole name of the game is to placate uh, Israel which sees Syria as a massive threat to yeah. it yeah. because of uh, its support, Hezbollah, which can fire um, Cobalt-60 missiles into um, Lebanon, and the Israelis can't nuke the Lebanon because it's too near. So Syria has to be um, Libyized or Libyanized or uh, Euroized um, or Iraqized. <laughs> so one can see that the whole <laughs> process is caused massive chaos, devastation, yeah. And then the new uh, order that comes is the total control right. of the Rothschilds via their puppets. Order out of chaos, death, destruction, rape, looting, pillaging, utter annihilation of advanced and modern-day cultures. Exactly. Uh, this is how our planetary rulers, at least in the West, see fit to bring people under their control. Kill them, destroy them, uh, irradiate them, uh, nuclearize them with depleted uranium, and worse, and then they're acceptable. What we've done to Iraq, no one has properly assayed, either through YouTube videos or anything that I've seen. This country has been turned from the most westernized, enlightened Arab country into a third world open, literally, an open running sewer in many of its cities. What we have done there is so far beyond war crimes, I don't have words for it. No, it's called liberation, Jeff. Quite. We've liberated them. Quite. Liberated, liberated them from them life from a future, and happiness. Yeah, liberated them from a future where they where they get any sort of happiness and turned them into the Rothschild um, slave on the Rothschild plantation. That's the whole name of the game in Rothschild world. And, of course, we find that the Rothschilds aren't um, just planning to turn all of um, the world into the Rothschild plantation with the Rothschild slave uh, being indentured um, into total servitude um, for all time on the Rothschild plantation. We know that they also want to bring in a new world religion. Not only do they want to make uh, everyone on the planet a slave, but they want to enforce a religion which is worship of the Rothschilds. This is called uh, the Lucis Trust, which um, is uh, um, a core part of the UN. And in right. fact, one can see it's the, uh, the major um, future of the UN, which is to bring in a new um, one world uh, uh, government it religion. Is. It's, it's, it's remarkable that so few people understand the reality of the simple fact that one family, there's a big family, has literally made plans to take control of most of the world very shrewdly, very competently, brilliantly, and have pulled it off. At the top of the pyramid are the Rothschilds. It's that simple. And it's not dim-witted to, uh, to miss the point, but most people just can't see it. It's right there in the city of London, two square miles, and it's all over the world, and it's called the central banking system, the Rothschild central banking system. But it's hard for people to believe that it's really that complicated and yet that simple. Uh, but it is. Now, there are exceptions, but I'm generally speaking uh, of a reality that just escapes people, which isn't a surprise considering that 95% of the media, of course, is a, a, a Bolshevik Zionist enterprise. And that's what it is. Zionism uh, begat Bolshevism which begat communism. But it's all the same thing. Uh, so, Tim, go right ahead, please. And um, we know that um, the great and the good around the world go to uh, worship um, Satan in Freemasonic temples. Uh, they get introduced to these uh, stupid rituals, which they don't understand, and they're promised if they stay long enough that they'll get involved in, uh, once they become uh, master uh, masons at the third level, they'll get introduced to more and more of this um, black magic, uh, which gives them more and more power, and, of course, more and more money. So one can see the master plan is to have the Rothschilds as the new pharaohs, the new um, god on earth, 
the actual uh, Pope uh, avatar of Lucifer. We saw it in the Albert Pike um, prophecy, which the Rothschilds are trying to bring into being. We know the Lucis Trust is the framework for this uh, new religion with the Rothschilds as god emperors of the planet, the living personifications of Lucifer. Uh, they've got um, the uh, arcane um, publishing and all the works in the UN in the form of the Lucis Trust. We know the Russians, Chinese, North Koreans, Syrians, the Iranians um, actually have given tacit support to um, the Rothschild um, one world government um, of uh, Lucifer um, as envisaged by the Rothschilds, because that is the UN. Um, that's the whole um, uh, secret occult uh, backbone of the UN. The Lucis Trust um, actually publishes all the uh, UN documents and actually has offices in the UN, um, and it's just ready there to actually Freemasonize uh, the entire world after, of course, World War III, um, chaos uh, bringing in the order. So the Rothschilds not only want you on the uh, slave plantation, they also want you worshipping them uh, under the new uh, Luciferic religion. Um, this would just be basically a Freemasonry. We get all the um, uh, great and the good, the professionals, worshipping Satan in their Freemasonic temples. We know all of the um, cities of the West are actually built on a Freemasonic Satanist um, uh, blueprint, which matches the middle place, the, uh, the biophysical world where your soul will be trapped after death. We know that the uh, dark energy mass of supernatural spirit, which um, the Rothschild feed, um, desire humans to be damaged so that um, their uh, souls are damaged so that they can be trapped in the middle place and fed off. Um, so exa for example, uh, um, the poisoning with GM food and the like is actually uh, planned in order to weaken the souls to produce a Rothschild, which is someone with their soul so damaged and so um, sold to supernatural spirits that Judas evil walking Satanist um, supernatural spirits can just use them as vehicles and give them that profound intelligence and uh, prophecy, which uh, is described in the Protocols of Zion and the Albert uh, Pike prophecies. We know that um, uh, the Rothschilds have got um, all the young people wanting... Um, to um, uh, become vampires and they believe more in um, Satan than um, uh, Jesus Christ. We know that the Rothschilds have put, it, put in a bunch of uh, Satanists in the Vatican uh, to promulgate um, uh, pedophilia and um, so weaken the Catholic Church's rituals that um, you're better off going to McDonald's and having a McDonald's burger than uh, going to a um, Catholic Church anymore. Um, so you can see this is not... Um, uh, by chance, but a uh, way of causing chaos in the spiritual world, uh, in the religious world, because the Rothschilds know if they are going to uh, have a uh, New World Order dynasty, they have to replicate the Egyptian world, which was um, stable for about 5,000 years, and the only way you can get stability is to have, as the Egyptians had, a whole society built around religion, and this will be religion, the worship of uh, Lucifer, where you do all these Freemasonic rituals, and uh, if you're a good uh, girly girl or boy, you might go up the ranks, get more money, and get more magical power, because all the power comes through the Rothschilds, who have a hotline to Lucifer, as they proclaim. Yeah. Your point is well taken. The, the generalizations you make are, are essentially right on the money. They, being the masses, have allowed themselves to be co-opted, fold, spindled, mutilated, filed, and put in leg irons, and with this new bill now pending Obama's signature, which will allow for the indefinite military arrest and detention of American citizens. The formerly United States of America is now a Bolshevik Zionist enclave. Be right back. Okay, back with Tim Refat, getting another look at the world as it is currently configured. All right, my friend, go ahead. So we see now, um, you might laugh that the Rothschild's going to bring in this Lucis Trust religion and you are going to worship the god emperors of the planet, the Rothschilds. Um, that is until you factor in that the U.S. military is now occupying your country. It has become the new NKVD, which became the KGB in um, Bolshevik Russia. And that in Bolshevik Russia, they could just grab you off the street, take you away to the Lubyanka and uh, torture you and then send you off to Siberia to work to death. Uh, we know now that in Bolshevik um, America, you can be um, have your door kicked down, you can be taken away, and the School of America's um, torture program can be inflicted on you. That's electrodes um, up your anus, penis, 
um, down your throat. That's standard um, school of America's um, as... Um, That's not a joke either. Itself. This is what they, they teach in torture That's what school. That's in America yeah. to all yeah. the South American and um, Central American countries. Right. That would be done to right. you now. And, and much and, worse. And one can see that if the Rothschilds, the god emperors of uh, the planet, the Pope of Lucifer, as they say, even though they're just charlatans and, um, as I say, uh, um, uh, they have zero power over the occult, but if they say they, they have um, this power and you must worship, um, and you know that the American military is going to cart you off and torture you and then kill you if you don't go to worship at the feet of the God Emperor Rothschilds, and uh, you don't, um, if you're one of the great and the good, go to the Freemasonic temples and um, the uh, Lucifer, Lucis Trust churches, um, because if you don't, that is heresy. And as we know, um, heretics go to the Inquisition, which of course is the U.S. military, and uh, after being tortured, they end up dead. So one can see that uh, the U.S. population will be worshipping at the feet of uh, the Rothschild God Emperors under the Lucis Trust, and this um, might seem laughable, except you've had a democracy which is now uh, taken over by your military, which are going to cart your way and torture you to death, um, without any sort of legal backing, that you have no laws, you are just slaves on the slave plantation. Mm -hmm. And if the overseer um, says you're going to be uh, taken away and whipped to death on the Rothschild slave plantation, it happens. You have no rights. Now, one can see that the Rothschilds want to export this loosest trust, one world religion, which is the worship of the Rothschilds. Uh, across the world, which of course is why World War Three has been set in motion. We know the only country in the world that, in my opinion, um, is uh, in any way, shape, form, or function operating as a civilization is China, because that was the only country in which a book on the Rothschilds was sold in their bookshops, and uh, 800,000 people bought uh, the book on the Rothschilds, which showed that they... Uh, caused the um, French Revolution and all wars since then, First World War, Second World War, and they had total control over the financial system. And this book was allowed to be published in China and, of course, was in Chinese bookshops. Now, this tells me that China is still a civilization not under the boot of the Rothschilds. Unfortunately, uh, the Russians don't have books on the Rothschilds um, in uh, circulation. I watch Russian television and Russian geopolitical programs. They never, ever mention the Rothschilds. So one can only infer that they're under the Rothschild boot. One knows that um, uh, they use super psychics like myself to get the Russians to collapse the um, Soviet Union using um, Jew agents like um, uh, Gorbachev to do um, uh, their bidding. We know that um, Lavrov uh, is saying bad things about the West. But, of course, if uh, I'm right and uh, the Russians can't even mention the Rothschilds on their media and uh, on geopolitical or um, financial shows talk about the Rothschilds, this infers to me that the Rothschilds are in control of Russia and that uh, the Syrian um, regime won't be backed by the Russians because the Russians uh, are a uh, paper tiger uh, who are too scared to uh, mention uh, the Rothschilds and therefore, by inference, will be too scared to go against the Rothschilds, uh, in, uh, the Rothschild invasion of Syria, which would probably be done by uh, the Turks. But the converse side of that is the Chinese, uh, the glorious Chinese, uh, can be seen as the only uh, world civilization outside of the Rothschild Zionist God Emperor Lucis Trust one world government, and that when they said they'd go to war um, if Iran was invaded, um, to protect their interests against the Zionist Rothschild Empire, one must infer that they probably will go to war because if they're publishing books on the Rothschilds and uh, making it public in China, this shows that they are not in any shape, form, or function um, under the boot of uh, Bolshevik uh, Rothschild Zionist um, uh, Western uh, dominance. Um, but from the Russian point of view, where they never ever mention the Rothschilds ever, uh, one one uh, can infer, unless they have a phase change and publicly uh, proclaim the Rothschilds are the uh, problem, uh, unless they uh, drop the Echa uh, in order to um, rebalance the geopolitical military equation and make um, NATO and America uh, the main um, catastroika 
um, post-apocalyptic uh, ap- uh, Armageddon-type civilization, uh, which um, it, they need to be, then, of course, uh, the West, um, with its military might, will only face uh, China. And, of course, China uh, needs to collapse the EKR um, uh, rapidly. Um, we know that um, the Chinese have got uh, are buying um, uh, hundreds um, uh, or more square kilometers of Iceland, which is the perfect place for flying long-range Sentinel uh, drones, which can then drop the EKR at will. They can fly combat air patrols over the EKR 24-7. We know the Iranians have got the Sentinel um, drone, which they should be selling to North Korea, uh, China, and Russia in exchange for nuclear weapons and Cobalt-60, because it doesn't matter if they get billions of dollars, because the billions of dollars in gold or whatever will be uh, stolen by um, the NATO and American uh, troops when they invade Iran. So, in fact, Iran should uh, sell the plans of the Sentinel drone, which, of course, um, is uh, vital for asymmetrical warfare, to, for example, North Korea, which can then fly long-range versions over America, ready to drop nuclear weapons or Cobalt-60 over the west coast of America. The Russians need um, the uh, Sentinel drone uh, made into a long-range stealth drone because, of course, their blackjack and backfire bombers from the Urals can get shot down um, over Europe. Um, uh, They have to come down over Iceland uh, and past Britain before they can drop the Eka. But, of course, they can fly Sentinel drones with long range from Cuba and Venezuela 24-7 and have combat air patrols over the Eka all the time with small little um, nuclear Hellfire missiles ready to drop the Eka at a moment's notice. So the Sentinel drone is the centerpiece of um, uh, stabilizing uh, uh, military power. And I would uh, state that it's better to drop the Eka now and wipe out America and NATO rather than hold the sword of Damocles over them because... America and NATO are rabid killers, and the only thing you do with a rabid killer is put a bullet through its head. But uh, maybe uh, less um, sociopathic uh, commentators would rather have the Sword of Damocles, the Sentinel drones with nuclear hellfire missiles. Yeah, it makes for better, makes for better drama. Over the Echo 24-7. Yeah, it makes for better drama, doesn't it? Some more it does, but I, I, I prefer that the Echo just gets dropped and the West gets wiped out, you know. Uh, and, then you, and then you just hold a gun to the remnants. But... Unfortunately, the Chinese and Russians are normal human beings that aren't like Americans or Europeans, aren't uh, sociopathic killers. And unfortunately, being British, I'm in that uh, Western mindset. What's your, what's your take? we got just a minute left. Obviously, the Syrian dissection is still on the table. Well, it's going to happen because... Will the, the Russians, Russians come through or not? No, because if, if the Russians can't even mention the Rothschilds on their media, the chances of them... Uh, um, going to war, if, if they're too scared to even mention the Rothschilds on their media, the chances of them backing Syria are zero. The Chinese are different. The Chinese uh, will eventually have a massive war with America and NATO, and that's why I'm saying to the Chinese, it's in their best interest to drop the echo as soon as possible. I'm just saying, if, they, if the Russians can't mention the Rothschilds on their media, um, then the chance of them firing those Yakons and cruise missiles at the French and American um, carrier battle groups um, uh, it, 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 it rather, um, well, you know, it, 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 it will get the Americans and the uh, NATO calling their bluff. Because remember, they sent convoys to oh, aid yeah. the yeah. Serbs in Kosovo, and they've been turned back. So uh, the NATO and America don't think the Russians will do anything. Well, time will tell, and time is running short. Thank you, Tim. Uh, very Thank interesting. Thank you for having me on. It's not boring out no there. No one else likes sure. me in the UK. They don't like me over here. I don't <laughs> know why. <laughs> Okay, well, you've got a lot of listeners around the world, and they but appreciate it. thanks for having me on. Okay, Tim, indeed. Much obliged. Bye. All right.